Have you ever heard of the certain sea animals who can perform photosynthesis like plants? The leaf sheep or sea sheep is one such sea creature that we have very little knowledge about. The leaf sheep is neither leaf nor sheep, it's a sea slug. The adorable sea creature you see here looks like something out of a Pixar film but it's a real-life sea slug with some awesome capabilities. Technically known as the Costaciella Kuroshimae, is a combination of Latin and Japanese. Costaciella indicates the genus name of all sea slugs belonging to the Sekaglossa group. The Kuroshimae part of the leaf sheep's name comes from the Japanese island Kuroshima, which is off the coast of Taiwan. Kuroshima is known for its crystal clear waters and it's where the leaf sheep was first discovered in 1993. Sea sheep have a small, creamish white, gelatinous body that looks slightly translucent. They have two dark eyes and two rhinophores that emerge from the tops of their heads that look not unlike sheep's ears or insect antennae, hence the common name leaf sheep. The rhinophores have fine hairs that sense chemicals in the water enabling to find food sources. Their body is covered with several pointy structures all over. These are similar to leaves, have a pinkish tip and green dots all over them. What we are going to talk about, now is probably the most unusual trait that makes the sea sheep so significant. The sea sheep are often compared to plants, because they have the ability to perform the process of photosynthesis. All of us familiar with photosynthesis, aren't we? For a quick memory brush up, photosynthesis is a process in which the sunlight is used to synthesize all the necessary nutrients from water and carbon dioxide. Actually, the sea sheep are kleptoplastic. How many of you have heard of the process of kleptoplasty before? Even if you haven't, there is no reason to worry. We will explain it to you. Kleptoplasty or kleptoplastide is a process in which an organism feeds on small aquatic plants like the algae, but stores the chloroplasts in its own body to use it to perform photosynthesis. Now that you have found about the sea sheep being kleptoplastic, you better not make the mistake of thinking that they are the only creatures who can perform photosynthesis. The phenomenon of kleptoplastide can also be seen in other creatures such as Alicia chlorotica the pea aphid and the spotted salamander. The sea sheep, like the rest of the sea slug species, are pure herbivores. Their main diet is the algae. The more interesting part of their diet is how they eat algae. First, they puncture the cell walls of the algae, then hold it close to their mouth so that they can suck in all of its contents. Thereafter, instead of digesting all the contents directly, they simply retain the chloroplast from it and store it safely somewhere inside their body. Later, they take it out to use it to perform photosynthesis. These sea sheep only grow to a length of 5 mm and are located off the waters of the Philippines, Indonesia, and Japan. The lifespan of the sea sheep is between 2 to 3 years on average. The underwater world is full of creatures that we don't know about and the sea sheep is the perfect example of it. Thirty years ago, their species was unknown to mankind slash even today, many people have not heard of them. Let's share with them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos like this.